so let's go to the questions all right question one management asked a network technician to install a new connection between two main locations management requests that the connection must the fastest possible for data replication which of the following would be the most appropriate type all right let's see the multiple choices it's a pri b adsl c t3 slash e3 or d isdn all right cut down in five seconds to know what the entry is okay the correct answer is d3 slash e3 all right number two when connecting to a network device through a remote connection for configuration purposes which of the following protocol is more secure a sftp b ssh c snmp v1 or d LDAPs. All right. But the correct answer is uh, correct answer is SSH. All right, guys. Remember, they don't use Telnet anymore because Telnet is not secure. But we gotta use SSH um, whenever you are remoting to a system and you want it to be encrypted. All right. So okay. Next, let's see what we have next. Question three, a network technician is helping an end user who is working on a spreadsheet for a very important client. The client can see the file on the remote shell, but is not about to open the document to print it. This issue is associated with which of the following OSI layers? A, layer two, B, layer three, C, layer six, or D, layer seven. All right, guys, let's see what the answer is. All right, it's got to be, it's, it's layer six. Question four, a network device compares a computed value of its major software components against a stored value. While the network device is loading, the device has and alerts the administrator that the values are different. Which of the following is the name of the value in use? And what does this process provide? It's going to be two answers. All right. Um, a, snapshot. B, a hash. C, a password service. D, a key. E, provides authentication. F, provides integrity. G, provides confidentiality. Or H, provides availability. All right, let's see. You know, when they talk about integrity, is hashing. All right, the answers are A, a hash, and F provides integrity. Question five. A network technician is capturing packets on the network and notices a UDP packet stream from a phone to the PBX system. The payload of the packet shows the phone downloaded the file cm7910 slash scp load.xml. Which of the following protocols was most likely used to download this file? Is it A, SIP, B, TFTP, C, SSL, or D, ICMP? All right, going to so TFTP. Question six, a server administrator is building an email server to protect the corporate internal network from external users. The email server should be placed A, on the internet, B, in a subnet isolated from the internal network, C, on the company LAN segment, D, in the DMZ. All right. All right, the correct answer is D in the DMZ. Question seven, a security manager asked the network administrator to block voice over IP protocol using the default ports on the corporate firewall. Which of the following ports should be blocked to prevent the type of traffic from going outside the company's network? It's gonna be three answers. All right, let's see what the multiple choices are. A, 67, B, 68. C one six one D six three six E one seven two zero seventeen twenty F fifty six sixty 
and G5661. I want to see what the, those three answers are. Remember, they talk about voice over IP. All right. Um, the answers are A1720, F5660, and G5661. Question 8. A network technician discovers there's no connectivity on a T1 line even, th even though the cable connection appears to be in place. The router shows there is no active connection on the port. The issue is occurring between the demarcation point and the router port. The router cable tests fine and is terminated at the demarcation port panel. Which of the following tools should be used to fix the issue? Is it A. Punch down tool? B. Cramper? C. OTDR? Or D low back adapter. All right, this is some real network question. All right, the answer is a pawn down tool. Question nine: Which of the following properties should be configured to extend logical network separation of an uplink interface to a second switch? Is it A eight to that one Q trunking? B multiple untagged ports? C port mirroring? Or D management VLAN. Okay, the correct answer is A802.1 Q trunking. All right, we're talking about switch. Okay, question 10. A new data center is being created and management is trying to control access in that area. Which of the following are the best choices for providing access to the new data center? It's going to be new on um, two answers. A. Captive portal. B. Wireless IP camera. C. Biometrics. D. Key fob. E. Private key infrastructure. Or F. Access control list. Let's see what those answers are. All right. So it's our biometric, biometrics. All right, the answers are biometrics and key fob. Okay, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the CompTI practice um, test for the Network Plus. Okay, so um, hope to see you next time for another part, which is going to be the part three. All right, guys, so um, don't forget if you like the video, um, give it a thumbs up, share it. Alright, and also subscribe to the channel.